you are definitely getting into the holiday spirit right now, too. Yeah. Uh, you were just giving back with your family last week. Uh, yeah. You guys do this every year, right? You went to a church? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we always do that. The day before Thanksgiving, um, one of our local churches, St. Monica's, holds a, you know, a clothing drive and, and um, kind of a food giveaway to people that are less fortunate to um, the homeless of Santa Monica and the greater Los Angeles district. So we always like to go and volunteer and, and bring clothes, bring you know, supplies, but also find ways to give out food and have kind of a one-on-one -on -one experience with, with yeah. some other people. And um, Because, I mean, the holidays are all about, you know, everyone's jolly, everyone's bringing joy, you're back with family, but... Um, it's a tough time for a lot of exactly, people. It is a tough time for a lot of people. A lot of people aren't as fortunate as myself or, or you or other people that are surrounded by family and friends. And um, it kind of brings out that, that time of year for them that's, you know, they're, they're back in, they're alone and they're feeling loneliness and they're feeling, um, you know, whatever it is. So I always like to find ways to give back from Thanksgiving, but also in Christmas time. And, um, you know, whether that's donating or, you know, going and volunteering or whatever you can do, it's, it's a great time of the year to do that. Yeah, and it was nice to see Chris join you guys as well. It's yeah. his first holiday season as an official part of the family. Official. Yes. yes. So, around, or he was around last year. Yeah. Well, but official. Yeah. Well, and your mom was so excited. To, she said to have all her kids home for Thanksgiving. What did yes. you guys get up to? We, uh, well, again, on the Wednesday before, we did that. And then on actual Thanksgiving, it was a little rainy here. So yeah. we usually do a football turkey bowl in the morning of Thanksgiving, but it was pouring, and so we didn't do that. Um, me and my mom just went for, actually we went to church on Thursday morning, and then we went and bought a uh, charcuterie board, and, uh, and then we just ate all day and watched football. Yeah. We went on a little walk with the dog uh, at the beach once it got a little clearer in the afternoon, but we just, it's just kind of a nice day to hang out yeah. and, and, you know, again, watch football and eat and, you know, spend time with family. Yeah. It's kind of one of the rare times, even though we're a really close family, you know, I'm always working and traveling and my mom's traveling, my dad's traveling. All of you guys are, really. Michigan at school. Catherine's living in Atlanta right now with Chris. So everyone is, you know, separated and uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas are those times of the year that we all get to get together and just... Yeah. Hey. Was Abby able to join you guys this year? Abby wasn't, but I went to uh, Alabama the day after because there's the famous Iron Bowl, which is when Alabama and Auburn play each other, which is the, probably the largest football game you know, outside of the, the Super Bowl. Bowl. <laughs> it's literally their Super Bowl. Um, so I flew in, and me and her went to that, which was Fun. awesome to go to. I mean, it was an insane game. Um, came down to the wire, and uh, it was it was just great to go and, and spend some time with her, but also go to that game. Yeah, it's absolutely. I wanted to check off the bucket list for a while. Nice. Yeah. Well, has Chris helped introduce any new family traditions? You've always said that you never got to have an older brother, and now you do. Yeah, no, it's awesome to have an older brother, and and he's a great person to look up to. Um, he bring, brings such great kind of principles and ideals, and he has a great heart, and and. Um, you know, it's great to learn from him, but new traditions, no, we, we've, we kept kind of the same, uh, same day as, as the past years. I think he's kind of joined our traditions, which is great, and um, it was a great holiday. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, he definitely has your dad's seal of approval, too. Yeah. So do you guys get to spend any time with your dad? Uh, yeah, we do. He's, he was traveling this last week, and then he was home um, on, for Thanksgiving. And then he goes and travels more. Like I said, our family is just like so spread out. He goes to Europe and Asia and everything every single month. And um, yeah, but we get to we get to see each other every week. Yeah. So yeah. Any hopes or plans to work with either or both of them in the future? That would be oh, one killer on screen trio. I'm just yeah, saying. Be, yeah, we could do uh, triplets. Yes. Company, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have no plans to, but uh, hopes to, of course. Um, I think it was it was always important for me uh, with my relationship with my dad to be separate than than work and film not to say that we wouldn't work together but I wanted to make sure that I, I spent my own time carving my own name out crafting my own work getting my own resume built without him so that if that time ever did come it was an organic way for us it to was work yours together. yeah but you know he had always offered small roles in some of his past films to me and uh, you know if there were ever you know a few day work day roles uh, but I just never wanted to do that and he understood that um, but I'm, I'm 
more focused on trying to just build my way up and get my feet wet and like I said create that resume so that if you know in a year from now or if next week they call and say hey there's this great role for you and and your dad in the film and you guys work together and I'd be like great yeah but I didn't want to do that as my first kind of sure projects and I didn't ever want you know people to just be like ah oh, he's getting into the industry because of his dad or oh he's only getting understandable himself. yeah so I wanted to uh, carve out my own own little path and uh, hopefully we do get to work together. Yeah, and what about you and Chris? Maybe a buddy comedy uh, down the line? Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a newer uh, relationship, so um, we'll, again, we'll see if there's something then then great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would love to be in Jurassic 10 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to keep going yeah, for sure, so that opportunity could whatever. definitely be there. Yeah. One of those uh, franchises that he has, the Lego movie, the... Love it. Something. Don't yeah, get in the Marvel movies. Universe. Yeah, that, please. <laughs> Throw me a roll. That'll Love it. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit of grand splaining. Okay. So What's we know. Well, we know that you've explained some of your best Instagram photos oh, from the okay. past, but we're going to do a little father-son version. Okay. Because going through your page, yeah. you guys tend to dress alike on occasion, just for a little bit of fun. We, yeah, we so are. we're so we're we're going to go through a few of these. We've got uh, what looks like maybe a Hawaiian sort of deal uh, here, game, yeah. and is that a ukulele with your dad? Yep, he's pretending to play. <laughs> <laughs> pretending being the keyword. How to play the ukulele? That was he had a birthday party. That was Hawaiian theme. So, yeah. Um, and I'm not sure why I look so serious. Uh, <laughs> it was a fun event. It was a fun event. And then we have uh, very dapper tuxedos. This looks really special. You guys got gussied oh, up for was, the night. This was a really great uh, event. This was something where my dad got the GQ um, award for, I don't know if it's the decade or the century or what, <laughs> something like that. But I got to, so we flew to Germany is where he accepted it and I got to do the introduction for him and give him the award. So that was us dressed up. Uh, yeah, you clean up pretty well, I must say. Thank you. Yeah. We were dressed up nicely, and uh, that was a fun event. Yeah, that looks great. And then more than once, we've had kind of a cowboy theme, and we need to talk about your dad's belt buckle. He seems very proud of it. He's holding on to it. He, yeah. <laughs> we both love to dress up kind of Western. Uh, we love cowboy hats, we love cowboy boots, Yeah. cigars. From early ages, the cowboy stuff? Um, we like it from whenever. Yeah. Um, it's just kind of the way we like to, to dress. And whenever we go up to Sun Valley, Idaho for Christmas, we always like to bring our, our boots and, and hats and stuff like that. He goes a little more out there with it, you know, <laughs> his belt buckle and his watches and his ring. He's all in. His, his buckle, belt buckle is like this big. And well, it would have to be, I think, I just proportionally. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, he makes sure that everyone uh, can see it. Love it. And then last but not least, I think we have an Oktoberfest theme happening here. Oktoberfest. Yeah, this is at Oktoberfest. Yeah. Me and him leading the, uh, you know, I don't even know. He's kind of doing a maestro type thing yeah, exactly. here. Yeah, There's a band playing as the kickoff, the opening for Oktoberfest. Um, this is a later hosen, which means, you know. Let That's very festive, very accurate. Um, but this is a, uh, yeah, it's not your typical Monday outfit. <laughs> so, but this is, if you haven't been to Oktoberfest, it's something. Highly like, recommended. Oh my God. It's probably the most fun, you know, dressing up, just getting in, involved in the, in the culture and society and, and drinking, eating. It's, it's, it's a really great. Uh, kind of what the holidays are all about, too. Yeah. Yeah. Just dress a little different. Yeah, I <laughs> love it. Before we let you go, remind us one more time when and where we can see Daniel Isn't Real. Yes, Daniel Isn't Real is coming out this weekend, December 6th. You can find it at some local theaters. I think it's playing in 15 or 20 different theaters, and then it'll be on demand. So Apple TV, Google, YouTube, whatever option. that There's hundreds of them out there now, but uh, go check it out. It's a really menacing, twisted mind Mind blown. blown uh, <laughs> film that you will love, and it's, uh, it's nothing that you would expect. And fans who fell in love with you uh, with something like Midnight Sun, how, sh how, awesome. yeah, how, should they, how should they prepare for this? Uh, it's just uh, going with an open mind. It's a, it's a, it's a wild movie, but uh, again, it, it'll bring, you know, it's great story-wise, character-wise, and aesthetically, it's, it's really, if you're a film fan, you will love this movie. Um, but it couldn't be more different than Midnight Sun. Nice.